Alright guys, Christmas apparently did come early, or a day late. This is um, the third box for my bench. Um, it finally arrived, came a little bit earlier than I expected. Kind of stoked, very excited. Um, Alright guys, so without further ado, I'm going to go go ahead and put this thing together. I found this kind of funny, as you can see the, um, the, the actual bench parts are sticking through the packaging material my experience uh, everything looked okay so I'm not really too worried about this piece of steel and this piece of steel but first hand look this looks really thick um, as you can see this is my uh, RM6 version 1 from Rogue and this is 7 gauge steel and this one actually looks extremely thick it's much thicker than the, um, the my monster rack steel before I continue I wanted to give kind of like a um, quick overview of the gym I'm not really going to go into detail, but just kind of show you the things I have. Um, as you can see, I've made a few changes watching my own videos there just to get motivated. All right, guys, here's clicking into the, uh, into the box. Here's the sliders that the, um, the manufacturer said were a little small. And they do look, they actually do look very tiny compared to the second set that they sent me that arrived earlier. Um, there seems to be some sort of wrapping around it. Guys, I wanted to um, just kind of show you a comparison of the welding with the um, Rogue equipment and the Titan equipment, as you can see right here. This is a fairly new J-Cup. I bought uh, this Black Friday. This is the Rogue uh, Monster J-Cup. And this here is the, um, the Titan, Titan J-Cup. A lot of you guys have experience with the Rogue, so I'll go ahead and start by showing you guys the Titans. Um, the UHMW uh, it's, didn't sit too perfectly right here, but you know I don't think that'll be an issue down the line. Regardless, I do like it that this part of the um, of the J hook is padded. As you can see, the Rogue's is not. It's actually going to be metal on metal contact there. The, um, I would say that 80% uh, of the Rogue's J-Cup is padded, but uh, as you can see here, the 100% um, 100 of the, uh, the J-Cup from um, Titan is actually padded, so I would actually give the UHMW padding there to them. The UHMW um, is a little bit softer, but I don't foresee anything, any issues with that. The Rogue's is definitely a little bit more solid, probably higher grade. But like I said, this is plenty of protection. And uh, to be quite honest, I think the Titan's UHMW is a little bit thicker than the Rogue's. Um, I wanted to point out welding. Um, I've been looking at a lot of their stuff. Uh, I, I own a few things, like I said, like the mass storage. And the welding job is up to par, um, you know, in my assessment. The Rogue's, this is their monster line. Actually, the Rogue right here looks beautiful. Um, this is made in America, and obviously this is made in China. I mean, uh, I don't have proof that it's made in China, but I think it's made in China from everything I've heard. Um, it's a little bit smaller. It's got a really good heft to it. Um, you know, I don't really see any issue with the J-Cup at all. I wanted to show the legs a little bit. Here, a little bit of a chipping there. In comparison with my Rogue Rack, super dusty. I've had this thing for almost three years now, almost four years actually. Sorry. Um, I wanted to also point out the um, the brackets here, the uh, the cross members for the bench. These are the parts to it. This is again, this is the uh, Titan bench. Um, this is. I wanted to point out that the uh, competition bench from Titan is based on the version 2.0 of the uh, competition bench from Rogue. The difference with that is that the, uh, the competition bench from Titan has a spine running through the bottom of the bench, which will provide a lot more safety and support. And also the, uh, the legs and the positioning of the padding is also adjustable by increments of one inch. As you can see right here, this is where this part bolts on and the bench that's on top of the spine. I'll be showing you guys all a video of that when I um, go ahead and do a little time lapse of me putting the bench together. 
Anyways, I um, wanted to point out that this steel is extremely durable. It's huge, it's very thick. Um, looks like a third of an inch even. Third to pushing half an inch. This part itself is very thick. As you can see, that's almost about half an inch of steel. So I'm really, really, really surprised and uh, um, impressed by the level of quality that they, they put into their equipment, especially for the price. Um, like I said, it's about $358 shipped to California. And um, if you guys are, you know, the, the weirdest thing is that they don't charge me tax. So a tax for is like another 10% and shipping is like another 20% on top of that. So can't complain. Here's the hardware guys, as you can see. Um, a lot of their hardware is uh, usually gold, gold plated. Um, as you can see here, this is very reminiscent of the Rogue equipment. It's, um, it's silver. Uh, by gold, I mean, like, it looks this, this color. As you can see, it's a little bit more gold, bronze, copper color. All right, guys, and I wanted to get, give you a quick comparison of the, um, the original bench that the, the original pad that the competition bench came with. This feels like any other bench you'd find at a Globo Gym. Looks like it's pretty cheap material. It's very light. I could probably lift it with my palm, give it maybe about 10 pounds. Um, and this is the Hefty Pad, also known as the uh, Donnie Thompson Fat Pad um, Alternative. The uh, vinyl that it's that's on it looks like it's quality. Um, people say it's slippery. I think it's slippery if your back is really sweaty and you're you bathed in oil, but to be honest, for me, it looks like it's a, it's a good quality. Uh, it doesn't feel loose whatsoever. It feels appropriate. Um, I personally don't have any um, experience with um, the Johnny Thompson Fat Pad per se, but I do have experience with the Rogue AB2 bench, and this bench is no slouch either. This is about a six $700 bench, maybe more than that. Um, you know, and the, the vinyl... The, I, I could say that the, uh, the the rope vinyl is a little bit more grippy, and if you know if if there's like a 10% grip difference um, for the price, the Rogue Thompson uh, would be around $210 shipped to California. Well, the hefty pad, um, I got it for $70 shipped. No sh no sh no uh, no shipping. A little bit of rope there. No, that's a non-issue. As you can see, it's significantly more thick. Very, very heavy. I would say it's uh, a little bit over 40 pounds, 50 pounds or so. Very dense. Feels like those um, those foam plyo boxes people use. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm going to be adjusting the height um, by the four inches uh, width of this uh, pad. guys before I continue my video I wanted to just show you um, at the lowest setting uh, as you can see here it's adjustable by one inch like I already mentioned um, this bench pad is going to be a little bit higher than uh, the competition uh, specifications um, the smaller bench over there is probably about an inch to two, two inches thick this is about four inches um, you know the, the competition bench should be around 12, 12 inches in width um, this is about 14.5 inches in width. It's a lot bigger, a lot heftier, and um, it's going to be a lot better for your back overall. But the caveat in that is that it's not legal in terms of competition. This is a competition bench setup, but this is not a competition bench pad. Um, at its lowest setting, we're going to sit at around 19 inches, um, which is a, an inch and a half higher than a competition bench generally would allow. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out real quick before I continue bolting this sucker on. I wanted to show you also the, uh, the spine where the bench is going to sit. 
Um, so it looks like it's a, it's a two inch piece of steel here. It'll support the bench. This is also going the bottom and that'll be on the head. Now when it comes to the safety spotter pins, these are the ones that um, the uh, Titan Fitness actually sent me a second pair. The uh, original pair, as you can see, sitting over there appears to be a lot flimsier, a lot smaller. Um, this is a lot more, a lot thicker. The, this pipe itself looks like it's about two inches and about two, it's a two inch pipe. Uh, very, very solid, very heavy. Definitely can probably throw more weight than I have in my whole gym on top of it without bending it. I was considering getting the strap safeties for it. It's an option at um, Titan Fitness, but uh, we'll see if I go go that route. I'll kind of show you what the original pin pipe safeties look like. They look kind of flimsy in comparison. Um, so I appreciate the fact that Titan Fitness actually sent me the the pin pipe, these uh, upgraded pin pipe safeties free of charge over the phone. They were just telling me that um, they, they, they didn't have as much um, confidence in these guys, so they sent me the upgraded version. Um, I also wanted to talk about the original bench pad here. Nothing really special about it. Probably the same pad that you'll see, um, you know, at the Globo Gym or at the Walmart uh, bench. Um, so I, I definitely do recommend that you um, upgrade yourself to a hefty bench pad. Like I said, the uh, construction is top notch. I definitely, definitely like the uh, the Titan laser cut lettering. It's um, very smooth, very well done. Um, I like what they're doing. I definitely like the, uh, I definitely like everything about this. You know, the powder coating looks real nice. Um, and one thing I also wanted to point out that is that this thing is about, you know, 200 pounds. Um, came in about two two huge boxes and from Tennessee to California this thing came to my house for free um, also the the tax was free there wasn't really any surcharge for that I could tell you that if I wanted to ship 200 pounds of steel from Cal Southern California to Tennessee it would probably cost me more than two three hundred dollars to do just that and it would probably have to go through freight in order for to make that happen this came to my house in about five days, um, over the weekend as well. So it was, uh, we ordered it Wednesday and it came the following Tuesday. Um, so the, the shipping container was a little bit of a mess, but you know, in terms of what I got, the value, everything like that, this thing is, this thing is a no brainer. Um, will this replace my um, AB2 bench that, that you see right there? I don't think so. I think that the AB2 bench definitely has a lot more uh, potential for it for workouts. There's a lot of things I could do inclined. I could do, um, you know, lunges on this beast. But definitely, definitely love the fact that I have a competition bench. Bench has always been historically my weakest lift. And um, there, but there's always something about the bench that I like, which is the reason why I gave up a large portion of my garage gym uh, for this bench. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys um, a workout today. I'm going to do some chest work, some back work, and then, um, you know, as, uh, as I go through my workout, I'll kind of give you a piece of my mind exactly what I think about it.
been a while since I made a video, um, and it's been a while, definitely a while since I've made a uh, review video, but I kind of wanted to give you guys a quick um, first impression on this uh, Titan Fitness competition bench. Uh, behind the scenes, I've been purchasing a few items from uh, from Titan. I know they've been a while for they've been around for a few years now. Um, so in the beginning, from what I've heard, they were kind of just making um, subpar equipment, but from what I have here, what I'm working with, I'm definitely satisfied and impressed, especially for the quality, for the price that you get. Um, for the, I've, ha I've had nothing but good service with them. Um, I could see that they're really trying to impress their clientele, their customers. And um, I kind of like what they're doing to the fitness industry. You know, they're kind of putting a fire under everyone else's butt. And um, really, all this will do is kind of create a better environment for the consumer. Um, in terms of the competition bench, you know, I'm, I'm definitely satisfied. This is my first workout. I left, like everything about this. I like the 2 by 3 posts. I like the west side spacing for, the, uh, for where the J-cups lie, you know, especially when you're benching more and more and you have, really have to fine-tune your placement and positioning. Um, I definitely like the, uh, the safeties that come with this. I don't think I'm going to go... A, and purchase the safety straps. I feel like the safeties are a lot safer in terms of uh, dumping weight when you're benching. It's it's a much more finite point for where the, the weight will stop. Um, I definitely like the um, the fat pad, the hefty pad, their uh, Thompson fat pad replica. Um, it's not squishy. I don't notice any um, slipping or sliding whatsoever. And I feel like... Um, you know, my, my shoulder blades don't overhang on the sides and I feel a lot more secure. And I could, I could foresee how this would be very beneficial down the line, especially for shoulder health. Um, I'm, the one thing I will buy down the line will probably be uh, band pegs for uh, further bench work. As you can see, my bench has gotten a lot weaker since, you know, when, when I was making videos a year ago. We'll get into that uh, in an in upcoming video. Also, I think I'm going to purchase their monolift attachment just to compare with the Rogue's version. Anyways, um, as for right now, I'm everything but, uh, or I'm totally satisfied, I'm sorry, with my purchase. Um, I wanted to say thank you to my girlfriend, Tony, for getting this for me. Um, she knew how much weaker I got, and <laughs> pretty much uh, this is going to help me in the long run increase my strength in my weakest lift. Well, thanks guys for watching. Um, five stars for this piece of equipment. Uh, please do like, share, and, and uh, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Lift something heavy.